Hello YouTube, this is Elzor 101 Today I'm going to show you how to turn a regular mag light into an LED mag light. Uh, there's several advantages of doing this. One of them is uh, battery lifetime. You can uh, change the lifetime up to 20 hours by switching this light to an LED light. And you can also change the colors, uh, which make it look cooler. And uh, You can still have a useful flashlight if you uh, use high uh, luminosity LED lights. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is take your mag light and disassemble it. you got to twist it counterclockwise until the top pops off and the light will be on. We'll just pop the light out. Now take out the batteries. Stuff keeps sliding in my desk. Make sure you use uh, batteries that are brand new or I recommend rechargeables. Now look at the top and you can see uh, it's got two holes and um, the uh, side that uh, says LM34 or 3A that's going to be the positive side so when you put your LED light in there you're going to want to put the positive on that side so I'm going to uh, grab my LED I have my LED right here. Uh, if you look really closely on the inside, there's one part, uh, there's two little metal uh, pieces. The part that's smallest is going to be the positive side. So the part that's closest to the bottom of your screen, that's positive. So I'm putting that by the words that say LM3A. So there we go. Right. Just make sure it's pushed in all the way. Uh, this might take a little bit of playing around with, but now here you can see uh, clearly the smaller side. That'll be positive. I'll let you get another quick look at it. Now I'm going to take my batteries and put them back in. kind of hard to do with one hand. Um, I'll show you something real quick. Um, if your light is different than mine, it's a good idea to take some cheap LEDs like this right here. I got it for three cents on a website. Uh, these LEDs are good for testing to see which side is positive and negative because when you buy expensive bright LEDs, they're sensitive to which side you have plugged in. So that's just a tip. I'm doing this right. Just got to play around with it a little bit. There you can see that my light is working. Now the part with this is uh, the inside. The hole has to be made a little bit bigger to fit my LED. So I'm just going to take, I want to go get my drill. Now I'm just going to make the hole a little bit bigger. Now my hole is big enough to fit my light. There we go. Now my light is blue. Turn off all my lights.
and I can see that my mag light is blue. You could change the brightness of it by um, buying different LEDs. If you go on to Radio Shack and you buy a uh, blue LED, it's not going to be as bright as if you buy uh, something off of eBay. And you want to look for ones with higher uh, luminosity, uh, the brightest. So look for around three volt LED LEDs because that's the volt voltage that um, the mag light gives out, which is perfect actually for LEDs. This is a cool mod because it it just gives you a cooler element in your flashlight. So uh, tell me what you think. Comment on the video and please subscribe. Another point or two is to take uh, this light right here that you replaced and put it uh, in the bottom of your mag light in case you ever want to change it back to the regular thing. So just. Uh, please subscribe and check out my other videos. Thank you.